Diego. Thank you. Um, you almost had another one there that hit the crossbar. Yeah. Uh, after that first goal, were you just feeling pretty aggressive, feeling like things were kind of going right for you guys? Yeah, I think, I think, um, yeah, just overall it wasn't my best game, but I think things like that is, is what's going to, you know, take me to the next level is even in, in tough games where I'm not having the best touches or stuff like that, I'm going to still find a way to, to, to score goals and do something like that and create chances, whether that's, you know, out of 10, it's two chances, right? But that's all, that's all you need, right? Um, and yeah. I think uh, I just I knew stay, staying positive something was going to come, and uh, yeah. And then as you guys look forward to the playoffs, um, what kind of stands out to you as far as mindset and and what you would like to, to do going into that, that first round? Yeah, I think the same thing that we saw today. Even when soccer's not good, um, I, we know we have the quality, but we know that there's going to be off days, and it's just the hard work and grit that's gonna that's gonna keep us in it and, and being positive, and knowing that we're going to get a goal, and, and then the second one's going to come, third one's going to come. And yeah. Cool. Thank you. Hey Diego, you told me in San Jose that you make magic with the ball. Yeah. And what you did tonight was a similar type play where you created just a little bit of space yeah. and you had three defenders shutting you yeah. down. As you heat up again at the end of the season, is, is creating that extra little bit of space something you've been working on? Or is it just the way the game is falling for you right now? No, it's it's definitely something that's been, you know, staying after training, you know, doing some shots, taking Cutting in on both sides and stuff like that has definitely been, you know, what I've been what I've been working on, and um, yeah, I think it's just practice is, is what's going to allow things like this to happen, you know. Thank you. Of course. Yeah, it would take me a little bit into the mindset <coughs> of the team after they scored their open the second half. It didn't look like you guys dropped your head yeah. or anything like that. The way you came back obviously kind of shows that. But what yeah. was sort of the the feeling, the mindset? Who kind of stepped up, gathered the team, that sort of. Yeah, I, I wasn't worried. I, I just looked to the side and just kind of, I kind of had a little smirk when they scored. Just like a little, like, calm, like, we're good. Like, you don't, nobody needs to, you know, stress because I knew that, that you know, things things are going to happen. I knew we had this, and it's just a feeling, right? And uh, staying positive. And like I said, it's, you know, you, you keep this mindset and, you know, eight out of ten times it's going to work for you, but there is times that it's not, right? But just keeping that mindset allows it to be eight out of ten instead of, you know, Four, three. So I think that's the, the biggest thing. Does that mindset right there benefit you guys? You think as you look ahead to the playoffs now? For sure. I think you keep that mindset. We might go down in games, away, home. It doesn't matter. We're just going to continue to work, stay positive, and and find a way to, to score. That's what that's what it's about. So I was wondering how you change, how you shift from like you know trying to finish strong here yeah. to um, adjusting what your expectations are going into the playoffs. I mean, obviously, you want to win, but like. Is it a different? Is there something different you're gonna do? Is there a different energy? Happening? Probably a different energy, right? I think more intense, right? So more maybe more adrenaline, more motivation, um, more hunger. I feel like I guess, but um. What is know, that? Like, how do you show that? Like, what does that look like for you? I think it's just gonna be working harder, running more, um, chasing down balls that uh, you know, not giving up on plays, things that we should be doing normally. But I think that extra thing of having a playoff. It, you know, mentally, it just always adds a, an extra, you know, run or an extra effort for you to, to push through things. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone else in English? Diego, felicidades. Está tu español como para poder hablar inglés. Ah, más o menos. Yo hablé contigo y hablas bien. Entonces. Uh, ¿Cuál es el mensaje que le das a la comunidad hispana? Te vimos con la bandera de México sí. algunos días. Eh, ¿El mensaje que le das ahora a la gente ya que estamos metidos en los playoffs? No, que okay. muchas gracias a todos que, que me dan you know, support y, y que voy a hacer todo lo que puedo para meter goles y hacer para RSL y para todos. ¿Metiste el gol? La pregunta es: ¿Cuál es el mensaje que le das a la hispana? Metiste el gol que le metió al partido al Real mm -hmm. o sea, y estuviste a punto de marcar otro golazo que iba a ser tal vez para coronar la noche y toda tu participación en la temporada regular. Eh, yo sé que tienes ese talento para hacerlo, pero por tu mente, ¿qué cruzaba en ese momento cuando tú tenías la pelota? Ah, que necesito meter goles, es, es todo lo que pienso en esos momentos. 
que tengo la pelota y una contra uno o, y necesito meter gol y, y tirar. Bueno, uh, Willy mencionó algo de México. Uh, ¿Te has hablado con la selección de Estados Unidos desde que llegó el nuevo, el nuevo técnico? No. Um, y esa noche jugaste en la, la mayoría del de partido por banda derecha, mm -hmm. uh, en vez de banda izquierda. Uh, te, te, sen, ¿Te sientes más cómodo por la izquierda y cómo viste uh, cómo salió la noche jugando por la derecha? Es diferente, pero los dos lados me gustan y puedo hacer los dos y con la derecha adentro y con la izquierda en el otro lado, pero con los dos puedo jugar bien y nada más quiero la pelota, es todo lo que quiero. Hijo, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien. Um, hoy estuviste en una posición muy algo diferente, pero vemos que tuviste la creatividad de crear, como tú dices, el espacio. Has hablado mucho del entrenamiento, pero también al principio de temporada hablabas mucho de, lo, de la mentalidad mm -hmm. que tenías. ¿Cómo ha cambiado tu mentalidad del principio de temporada a ahora? Yo creo que es la misma mentalidad que tenía todo el, todo el season, yo creo, uh, correr muchísimo, meter goles y, y enseñar, enseñar a todos quién, quién puedo y no hacer. Y yeah, meter goles y, y jugar bien por el Arsa. Hola, la, la última. Hoy te vi meter el gol con la derecha, creo, uh -huh. y, y el segundo tiro lo hiciste con la izquierda. Uh -huh. ¿Con cuál es más dominante? Me gustan los dos, pero mi derecha está muy, muy más, más bien. Sí, yo, yo lo vi ayer. Ayer. Gracias, Diego. Gracias, Diego.